to get this dot zip in the dot zip it's going to contain my client settings or your kiwi's client settings if i open that you're going to see there's going to be four files ignore this one it's not going to be in there i just use this for testing but you're going to get these four files right here other thing you want to download is this program that i made that's in the second link in the description it's going to be in the github just download it if you don't trust it you could just right click on it and then click edit and you can view the code inside of it and see what it does so yeah after you get that that's all you need next you want to run the program then it's going to do this so select the .json file that contains fast flags go to the one that you downloaded from the .zip the folder i forgot to say um extract the .zip and you're going to have this folder and then go to the folder and you can select any of these all right any of these will still boost your fps regardless so i'd say if you have like a mid-end to high-end pc then probably use balanced graphics or high graphics if you have a low-end pc then try using low graphics but i'll be using balanced after that just click open and it's going to say successfully applied client settings restart roblox to apply the changes so then you could just go into roblox i'll be testing it in michael zombies So max graphics for me, I get like 180 FPS. It's not bad. And if I lower it, my FPS is actually going to be at 250. I also test it in another game. So here I have 300 to 400 FPS right there. It's all the way low. If I turn it up. I'm kind of going to get similar results. I can go up to like 200 to 300 FPS. Um, if you don't trust my program, that's perfectly fine. I'll show you how to manually install the client settings instead. So first get the folder open. Then you want to right click on your Roblox player shortcut. Open file location. And you're going to see your Roblox files. You're not, you're, you're probably not going to see the client settings folder. So if that's the case, just right click anywhere on the Roblox folder, hover over to new and click folder and then name a folder named the client settings make sure it's spelled that way so capital c capital s go into that folder and then you could copy one of these graphics that you want and i paste it in there and then rename it so right click on it rename it to client app settings capital c capital a capital s and make sure it's a dot json at the end if you can't see that click on the view right here and then toggle the file name extensions then you should be able to see the file extension